Yeah, so we are getting started right now. Mm -hmm. Please, if you can hear me, just put in a comment on the comment section. If you can hear me clearly, I would also like to know where you're chatting from. Hi, Joy, can you hear me? Yeah, we, we can't hear what Joy is saying. At all, we can't hear what Joy is saying. Okay, so just testing the sound. Hi, Joy, can you hear me now? Hello, Joy. Hello. Okay, anyone who can? Okay, Joy, you're on mute. Yes, can you hear me now? Oh, uh, did I miss Joy? Hi, Mr. John, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very around and clear. Loud and clear. Thank you so much. Yes. Ah, uh, Joy, 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 Joy. Can you hear me? You can hear me, Alphonse. Yes. Loud and clear. Thank you so much, guys. So we are going to start this session. I would like to request one of us to pray for us, and then we are going to start. Joy, you can help with that. Yeah. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening everywhere where you're watching us from. My name is Joy Kanana Murithi. I head the marketing of Thai Sako. Uh, today we are privileged to have a very interesting conversation around um, why circles. Uh, basically, we want to know how circles are coming in as a catalyst for your personal financial growth. We are privileged to, to have our host, our CEO from Thai Sako and our end of credit, Madam Christine Dungo. We will have a very interactive session from wherever you are, uh, you are from. Basically, we want um, uh, uh, you to drop your questions uh, on our chat uh, session. We also want you to, if you have a question, you can raise your hand and we'll give you an opportunity to speak to us. Uh, basically, just to give a brief introduction about Thai Sako. Thai Sako is an institution that is 31 years old. Um, uh, we have 11 branches that are cut across Nairobi County, Kiambu County, and Nakuru County. Uh, I will briefly say where our branches are. We have a branch in Gidunguri, where our head office is. We have a branch in Kamwangi. We have a branch in Gatondo. We have a branch in Kika. We have a branch in Kibumo. We have a branch in Guiru, Githurai, Nairobi, Kimende, and also we have a branch in, um, in Nakuru, our recent branch. Basically, to just uh, give you uh, comfort, uh, we, have, um, we are operating in a space where, uh, whereby we are in a uh, uh, credit, savings and credit. I know this is a conversation that will move on as we, as we, as we proceed with our discussion with our hosts. They, you will ask all those credit questions that we, you are always post. Remember, we have taken time to analyze all your queries that you bring on social media. We have taken our time to consolidate all those particular concerns that you have and you post to us. Today we are responding to all your queries and actually uh, getting you to understand why you should pick a circle as one of your best, um, best investment uh, vehicle. I'll also take this opportunity 
opportunity before I hand over to our moderator to give a word of prayer to just open the, the session. Now that I've given an overview and the scope of this particular webinar, I'll uh, also make a prayer so that uh, I set the moderator free to begin the conversation with us. Feel free to post your questions and chat. Feel free to intercept by raising your hand and asking a question. We are here to listen to you. We are here to talk to you. May we pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you for this session. As we begin our discussion, we pray for wisdom, we pray for understanding, we pray for an interactive session, Everlasting Master. We pray, Lord, that you guide us through the session. We pray believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. So back to you, Alphonse. Kindly take the wheel. Thank you so much, Joy, for introducing Tai Sako. Uh, and all the branches that we have, of course, guys, it means that you can be served in any of the areas close to you. Just as an introduction, you can catch this session on our social media handles. You can do it today. And uh, our social media handles are at Kai Circle Limited. So you can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook. We are streaming live on YouTube. And we have an amazing team as well today. Yeah. So uh, let's get started today. I like to this conversation to be so real and so organic because we are talking about money. <laughs> yeah. So um, we are really privileged. We've just had joy. Thank you so much, joy. Uh, we are really privileged to have uh, the CEO of Thai Circle and uh, the head of credit Thai Circle as well. Uh, Christine Tumu. I'd like to give them this chance just to introduce themselves and what they do. And then from there, we are going to move into each of the questions one by one. Please, as you note, any question you're able to do to do a comment on the comment section or in between, I'll also be able to give us a chance just to ask about anything. Yeah, uh, Joy, you can also confirm to me here that uh, those who have related questions about their accounts or they have issues, like the questions that have been there on WhatsApp, that your team is ready to handle them right now. Can that be possible? I can actually confirm that, Alphonse. Whoever was a concern, whoever was a question, uh, we are able to handle it real time. That is why we are here. We have a team that is ready for them. Great. Thank you so much. So let's go quick into this. I'll start by having the head of credit, Tai Sako, uh, Christine. Christine, just unmute yourself and introduce yourself, what you do, and welcome us also to this session. Thank you, Alphonse. Um, Alphonse, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Oh, thank you. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of uh, the people who have joined us. Uh, it is uh, very humbling to see all of you ready to listen to us. Atai Sako is always there for uh, our members and the larger community so that we are able to discuss and find out uh, when we talk about uh, the middle sea in circles, which is credit, what does it entail? So today we are here for you. We are really appreciating your presence. And therefore we look forward to a very engaging conversation. Karibu Nisana and those who are also not members of Thai, at this opportunity, I don't welcome all of you to open accounts and become our members. Asante Sana Alphonse. Hello, Alphonse. Yes, yes. Thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much, Christine. Yeah. So next, we are going to have our CEO, uh, Mr. John, also introduce himself. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much, Juan Alfons. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all for all who are with us uh, today. We feel privileged to host you this day today, and uh, we will, we expect to have a very exciting interaction. I am John Mwangi, the CEO of Taisako. Uh, we are here ready, charged to give all the information that you may require about uh, Taisako, 
uh, which is a circle which is now that one years old. We are moving on well. We stand for including all our members. We are serving so many sectors in our country, uh, all the way from uh, the employed people, the farmers, uh, whether in tea, uh, coffee, dairy, the county government people, our diaspora customers, the products that we are having on offer for all our members are so many. We listen to our members, we customize the products so that uh, any member who abides by our by rules is able to get uh, a lot, a lot, a lot to transform himself or herself to become a better person uh, after joining Taizako. So that when you compare yourself before joining Taizako and after joining Taizako, you appreciate and you even become our, our ambassador in whichever sector that you are in, in whichever country that you are in, you move and become a different uh, person by becoming a member of the ISAC. So thank you so much. Uh, I'm ready uh, to answer and respond to any comments and queries. Thank you, Bon Alphons. Welcome once again, all who are listening to us. Asante. Thank you so much, Mr. John. And just to remind all our viewers that we are live on all our social media handles. You can find us there. And we're also recording this session for the sake of everyone. You've already heard about the numbers. Yeah, so you are in a circle that has so many people already banking with us. I'll go straight away to our first question with the CEO on my screen. And uh, Mr. John, I would like you to set us off by Telling us why one should consider circles instead of the traditional banks when thinking about banking. Now, thank you, Bona Alphonse. Now, circles uh, are the savings and credit cooperative societies where they circleize or where we belong. Now, uh, circles uh, enable the members uh, to save. Regardless of the amount of money that you are saving, you are accommodated by a circle. The circle is able to work with you uh, from whichever sector that you are in, regardless of the incomes. We are also able to uh, educate you. We educate our members through members' education. We have forums where we uh, enlighten our members on the many products, on prudent savings, on investment options and uh, uh, that aspect of uh, educating our members is very unique because you can never find it in the, uh, the conventional banks. We, spend, uh, we have a budget for that so that we enlighten our members in a big way. Uh, away from enlightening our members uh, and our people or customers who join us, um, a customer in a circle Number one is a customer and a member. What do you mean by that this person is a member? You also benefit from uh, interest on your deposits and uh, dividends at the end of the year. That one can never be found in the conventional banks. So uh, you, you, we train you or we educate you on good saving habits. Uh, we also make you a member, you patronize the returns from the from your investments, and uh, you become a better person after joining, joining Thai Circle than you were before joining the, the, the circle. So this is the place to be. Uh, we look at uh, all aspects, we reason, we customize, and we come out with a product that uh, suits all our members. Yes, thank you. So before you go, uh, Mr. John, I can see there is a comment uh, here, which is somebody from the diaspora. And I'm so happy that you touched on the circle in relation to the traditional ways of banking. I'd like you to take it to uh, the diaspora level. Uh, and I'll just read out this question as we continue. So we have Mr. Anthony Minor who says, good morning. Um, professor Anthony Maina, research professor at the University of Puerto Rico in Caribbean. I'm not a member of Thai Circle, but I'm a large-scale tea farmer. 
He says, I'm from Kenya, Kigumo, in Kiambu County. Please touch on the diaspora remittance channels and the opportunities you have for the diaspora. Uh, I don't know whether you can take on that question now uh, or uh, you can take it at the end. Yes, come up again, come up again, please. So we have Mr. Anthony, Anthony Maina. Uh, he says, good morning. I'm Professor Anthony Maina, the research professor at the University of Puerto Rico in Caribbean. Okay. I'm not a member of Thai Circle, but I'm a large scale tea farmer. He says I'm from Kenya, Kigumo, in Kiambu County. Uh, please touch on the diaspora remittance channels and the opportunities you have for the diaspora. Thank you so much. I can see the question now. Uh, yeah. Uh, welcome very much, Professor Maina. We are glad to uh, host you here at Taisako. As uh, we have said, Taisako was formed by tea farmers uh, back that one years ago. Now, as a farmer, by the way, from Kegumo in Kiabu County, you can become an, our member. Um, uh, we have a team that is uh, taking care of uh, all the diaspora customers. That team will guide you on the steps that you take. We have an online or online forms that you can fill, give your details and everything that you would, uh, which is guided by the uh, template for joining the circle. Hello, um, my name is Daniel Anga. Uh, hello. I am a member of the circle. Hello. Hello, Bon Alphonse. Uh, I was responding to the question. Yes, now, uh, yeah. for remittances, in case you want to remit any uh, finances or some monies, uh, we have partnership with conventional banks where you can uh, channel your money to one of the banks as we discuss with you and agree which bank uh, is more convenient to you where you have accounts. For example, you have uh, a Kenya Commercial Bank, we have APSA, uh, we also have equity. So in case you want to make a direct remittance uh, to your account through us, we, we have a discussion with you and agree on the most convenient bank to you so that the money gets to your account. Thank you. That's great. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for that. So we move on. So as you've heard from there, I don't know, Joy, whether you have something to tell someone who is at the diaspora. I know uh, uh, we really care for the diaspora community. Yeah, basically uh, we care for our diaspora community in a big way. And um, yes, as uh, our CEO has put it, we just uh, need to agree with the client where what is comfortable for, for him or her. And by the way, because he has also said that he's a large scale uh, tea farmer, he can leverage a lot of our products here because uh, as we began by introducing, we said that um, Taisako originally was Kambuti growers. So he has a plus on that sector. Plus, number two, there are some countries our pay, uh, our, uh, are acceptable uh, to use the pay bill. So he can also remit to his account in Taisako through the pay bill or the app or the WhatsApp banking. We have made it better for our clientele in the diaspora. They can bank through the WhatsApp we provide them the WhatsApp banking. So we have so many options. Uh, he just need to drop his contact on the chat, chat session. I will pick a discussion with him after this conversation and uh, we will be able to assist him fully. So I will request him to drop his, uh, his contact uh, and uh, I will be able to respond in a um, uh, personalized, uh, personalized way, Alphonse. Thank you so much. I really like how it's a conversation already. Uh, we're already talking to people at the diaspora that it's really possible. Uh, the circle, I can hear there also that the circle was, is also like meant for tea farmers. So you're really welcome. You can just go to the contacts to the uh, chat section and then you can DM um, Joy your contact so that she's able to provide you with more information. At this point also, I would like to let us know that all the information and everything we are talking about here is available on our website. You can always visit it on www.taisaco.co. 
C O O P. Uh, so there you will find everything about us, all our products, the loan products, the savings products, the circle killer, the agency banking, and then under the information hub, we have all the awards and recognitions, the e-channels that we have, M-Pesa Pay Bill, the MoneyGram, I think that's now Diaspora, Western Union International, the Visa branded ATM, mobile banking, e-loan, checkbooks, all that. And you can find all that. We also have a, risk, a very busy resource section where you can find all the news and updates, all our downloads, all our notices, all our vacancies, and a loan calculator for you. So next question, I would like to uh, direct this again, once again to Mr. John Mwangi. Uh, could you give us just a brief overview of who TAISACO is and share your insights in the future outlook of TAISACO within the circle space in Kenya and abroad? Yeah, thank you, Bona Alphonse, for the question. Once again, uh, TAISACO, as I have said uh, slightly before, this is a savings and credit cooperative society accepted in Kenya. And uh, we offer savings and uh, credit uh, services to all members who join us by prescribing to our bureaus and other requirements. Uh, we serve uh, a variety of sectors in our country. Uh, we serve civil servants, we serve business people, uh, we serve all different types of farmers and anybody who prescribes to our violence. So sorry for that. It seems our CEO has muted. Just kindly unmute. Um, can unmute. Uh, hello, thank, oh, thank you. I think you fantastic. can hear me now. Yes, now you we can, can hear, hear me now. Clear. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. thank you. Yeah. Um, we, we are looking forward into the future to creating even more products for our members. Uh, for example, uh, last year and this year we have a new product that we are calling Macau. This Macau loan is enabling our uh, members to own residential houses. They can also own commercial uh, uh, properties and uh, the product is doing very well. So any uh, initiative that can make our members better is the direction that we are going. Look at the SMEs, yeah, the small, medium and micro enterprises. By the way, we have even created a department for that so that those uh, upcoming entrepreneurs can be taken care of. We listen to them, we visit them, we interact with them, uh, try to link them uh, through the supply chain kind of an arrangement where we even link them with the suppliers of the raw materials that they could be uh, uh, engaging in, where they can also be able to get them at uh, discounted prices. We are looking forward to, uh, to partnering with the companies like uh, Baburi Cement and other big companies so that our members can also be able to enjoy economies of scale. So uh, going forward, that area, uh, that product, that initiative that can help our members become better, regardless of whether it is Macau, that is uh, enabling our members' uh, own uh, properties, uh, grow their businesses, uh, enable them to educate the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, their children and so on. Those are the areas that you are looking into. And uh, we also want to enable our diaspora people to invest in our country in a big way. We have a Thai housing, uh, which can enable our members to own products. If the diaspora, if our diaspora members have uh, uh, rental houses, we have uh, uh, property management services through Thai housing. So we want our members, or we want to give our members uh, a one-stop shop for all the year uh, needs, be they uh, transfer of money, be they investment, be they expanding their businesses, any area that they are interested in, we are ready to listen to them 
and work with them uh, to make them uh, satisfied in our products. Thank you. Thank you so much. And before you go, your last question on this, Mr. John. Uh, I would like you to tell us more about uh, TISACO, the mission, the vision, and the core values that you have, and what motivates the adoption of the statements in the mission, vision, and the core values. Thank you, Juan Alphonse. I think today you are engaging very much in a very big way. Thank you so much once again. TISACO's vision, uh, is to transform lives. Now, when you talk about transforming, it means that, uh, for example, you are a small scale uh, trader or business person or entrepreneur. We want you to move from being a small scale uh, trader, business person or a farmer to maybe a medium uh, scale entrepreneur, farmer or whatever other sector that you are in. We transform you. Yeah, your incomes become better. Uh, your standard of living becomes better through transformation by whatever or the many products that we are having. Now, on the mission, uh, we want to, uh, of course, uh, provide uh, a bouquet of uh, products and services yeah, in a timely and innovative way to our members. Whichever uh, sector you are in, eh, we have a package for you. Maybe you are a farmer, a tea farmer. You could be a dairy farmer. Maybe you are a civil servant. You are a teacher or whichever other sector that you are in. We have a bouquet from where you can choose from. If we, we don't have that particular request or requirement that you may need from us, we package it. Yeah, We customize it uh, so that uh, we... Uh, give you whatever you require from us, uh, and that is our our mission, so that you get transformed, yeah, creating and enabling you to get that particular uh, product that most suits you. When you talk about core values, uh, there are quite a number, and we have an acronym for all the uh, the values. That is tricep, T for teamwork. Yeah, we work as a team. You have our marketers, you have our credit professionals, you have our IT people, all of them are here. We work as a team. By the way, you also have the board of directors who also have their roles or their role as directors in the institution. R is for reliability. You can rely on us. Maybe you are in the diaspora. We know some of our people in the diaspora have lost money. Yeah, they want to invest. They spend so many hours working, then they remit their money to their relatives or even friends. But that, that money is misappropriated uh, to, the, to a lot of dissatisfaction of the uh, particular uh, investor or member. I is for integrity. Uh, the character, the character of our, of our actions, of our uh, staff is unquestionable. We do not want to engage in any activity that can raise issues that can make our members lose confidence in us, lose their money, or anything that can create dissatisfaction. Uh, C is for creativity and uh, innovation. We are creative, like, like I have said, we listen to you. We package uh, a product that most suits you. Uh, by listening to you, we, we don't... I want to have a street jacket kind of products. We want to listen to you in case whatever you have does not satisfy. Then we have excellence. Yeah, uh, whatever you do, you want to do it the best way possible you know how. And uh, for us to be able to do that, we do a lot of research, we invest in research, we collect a lot of intelligence so that when we are delivering or when we are serving our members, whether they are locally or in our country or they are diaspora members, we give our best to the satisfaction of all our members. Yeah. Then finally is professionalism. Like I have said, um, uh, we have uh, different pro uh, professionals who are in our uh, staff or who are our staff members. Yeah. We have uh, financial advisors. We have auditors with us, marketers. Yeah. Uh, they can be able to give a package 
uh, whatever you have in a very good way. Look at IT. Yeah, we have uh, a list of uh, uh, ABCs, that is alternative business channels. Yeah, the IT people are good in that area. So whichever area that is required to make our services better and more enticing, that is what we engage in professionalism. So generally, uh, those are our uh, core values. Uh, thank you so much. And we walk them. We don't just talk about them. We walk uh, what our values are talking about. Thank you. Thank you so Asante. much. And I've seen uh, from the items you mentioned, I'm so happy you mentioned about farmers, you mentioned about teachers, uh, about business people. And I know that's what Christine is going to talk to us about. So how to get this credit. But before I do that, I would like to welcome Joy again. I said this has to be a conversation. So Joy, you'll just get me one question, read it out and then reply to it. I've seen you trying to reply to the many questions you're getting on our chat board. Hi, Joy, can you hear me? Yes, I can, uh, I can hear you, uh, Alphonse. I want actually to um, read out a question by a client from Ruiru called John. Good afternoon, I'm a new, based, uh, I'm a new customer based in the Middle East. My branch is Ruiru. Is it possible for a diaspora customer to be financed in upcoming proper, uh, pro, property projects in rural area? What are the minimum requirements? Let's say a 7.5 million property. Uh, I know I have responded to this, but uh, because I'm privileged to have my end of credit online, she can start there by responding to that question as she gets to, to, to you, Alphonse. I will allow Madam Christine to handle that question, however much I have responded on the comment session, but let it come from the end of credit herself, now that she's on the line. Hi, Madam Christine, the floor is all yours. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alphonse. Uh, thank you, Joy. And thank you to our member from Rural Branch. Uh, we appreciate the partnership and uh, the request for 7.5 million. I'd want to say yes, it is doable uh, because like our CEO has indicated, uh, we have a product that we launched in 2021 that we call Macau. Macau is basically to finance our members, uh, those who want to do construction. Construction is two way. It could either be uh, residential or commercial. And for us to be able uh, to give you uh, those finances, or no, it, although I know it is a topic I'll delve into later, of course, there are those uh, qualifications that we look at. Number one, we are happy you're already our member, and therefore that is a tick. And how we operate in circles is that uh, for you to be able to be financed, at least you must also become a shareholder by buying some shares. And the shares that you'll have placed are what are going to enable us to be able to finance you. Again, also in credit, what we do, it is important that we walk a journey with you. Uh, we'd want to understand using a model uh, that you have uh, internally, uh, the person that we want to finance, what are their cash flow projections for the project they want to do? How is their history in terms of uh, their ability to pay? Uh, what uh, is their goal? Because we say in every project, there must be a goal that you're looking at. How do we partner? How do we walk the journey together? So in a nutshell, uh, I think uh, we will get in touch and we are able to give you much more insights so that we are able to walk the journey together. But yes, we are able to finance uh, the 7.5 million and our Amakao loan. Back to your phones. So Christine, you have a pesa eco. Pesa iko na sisi yeah. tukiamuka asubuhi tunafunguanga duka ya kuuza pesa in terms of loans. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. While well, you're still on that. So, um, yes. what is the global perspective on savings and why do you think it's important to have discipline in savings and consistency? Uh, thank you, Alphonse. I'll now change. Uh, like we said, a circle is a savings and a credit cooperative. So uh, in a global perspective, it is very important. All our savings play a crucial role. 
in the well-being of uh, the citizens of that country, the individuals, the households, and of course, the nation at large. Our savings are important because number one, uh, they assist in economic growth. Because when you have those savings and you invest, it means that the economy of the country will grow. And therefore coming closer home, when we have that culture of saving, it means that we will also be supporting our government in terms of economic growth because every person will be having something they are doing that is um, contributing to the economy and therefore we enlarge or we grow our economy. Number two, uh, savings enable financial stability. Of course, uh, when an individual or a nation has some savings that they can use for emergency, or when you know you have some money that is somewhere and something comes up, automatically you're able to address the issue. And therefore, in terms of us feeling stable, it is important for one to have the culture of saving uh, so that we can say, like we say here in the country, that you save for a rainy day because tomorrow you do not know. Again, also, we appreciate the fact that all of us are growing old. And therefore, in our hair days, we need to have something that we will use as uh, we do not expect that will be people who will become a problem to our society by telling people to give you some money. So if you have the culture of saving, uh, you will do a culture that will assist you as a retirement plan. And the money that you have currently now will assist you in those days when probably you will not be able uh, to probably get out of the house because we appreciate the fact that all of us are getting old and at some point age will catch up with us and therefore it is important. I know the people who are employed, we have the schemes under NSSF, uh, which is uh, to allow for social protection in our uh, later uh, years. Again, also saving is important because it assists in wealth creation. When you have the culture of saving, I am sure from your savings, you're able to take, go buy some land, go buy a vehicle, go invest in your children's education. Uh, if you have a business, of course, from your savings, you're able to add to the capital. And therefore, savings are an important aspect in each and every one of us. And therefore, Alphonse, for me, I'll, I'll uh, sum it up by saying that, yes, savings are important uh, for the simple reasons and many more probably that I have not outlined. Asante Alphonse. Thank you so much. And as you still talk about the savings, uh, maybe you can tell our listeners what are some of the available savings options at uh, Taisako. Uh, thank you, Alphonse. Uh, in Taisako, we have a different uh, or we have an array of products for which uh, you can enjoy as a member of Taisako. We have an account that we call the Ordinary Savings Account. Uh, this is where you put your transactional money, where you can always access your money, you can withdraw your money, you can deposit, or you can also save, like I have said, for those unforeseen things that uh, you think might uh, happen at some point. Uh, we also have something we call the business account. If you're running a business and you'd want uh, the business to be a bit independent from your personal savings, so we have the business accounts. Uh, we also have group accounts, uh, and here we talk about uh, people who are in chamas and people who have come together with a common goal, probably you want to invest in land at some point, you want probably to buy some machinery for your businesses, so we have group accounts. We also have fixed term deposits, whereby you bring to us some money, and guided by the amount of money that you have brought on board, at uh, the time for which you want that money to stay with us, of course, we negotiate with you. We have very affordable uh, rates for which we give a deposit, and therefore we have the fixed term deposit. Again, also as human beings, once in a while, you don't want to take a break. We have a holiday account whereby you can save money in your holiday account. And at the time that you feel now you want to take a vacation, are uh, you able to come and withdraw your money from your holiday account? and you are able to go for that trip to probably uh, your dream destination or locally as a domestic tourist. We also have children account uh, so that we are able to also teach our young children and our young ones 
on the necessity for saving early and teaching them that culture of savings. Uh, we also have uh, the children's account. And uh, we also have a call deposit account uh, whereby it necessarily doesn't have to run for probably a, a, minimum, a minimum period of one month. This is money that you can bring as a lump sum. And like you're calling it on call, anytime you want to access your money, we are able to avail the money to you. So Alphonse, yes, we have all those uh, accounts platforms whereby our members uh, can be saving so that they they also have that habit of uh, saving. Thank you. Uh, so you talk about the habit of saving. <laughs> there are yes. some people who want loans, but they don't want to save. <laughs> How can you advise okay. such a person? <laughs> Um, what I can tell that person, it is okay because uh, one of the key uh, pillars of a circle is also to give loans to its members. But then again, we must also appreciate um, the basis under which our circles are formed. A circle is ordinarily a group of uh, people or investors because anyone who has an account in a circle is an investor who come together so that they're able to pull resources together and they're able to own land to each other. And therefore we uh, urge our members that when you want to borrow a loan, probably you want to borrow like the 7.5 million that had been mentioned, I will uh, get the money from your peers who have saved with us for me to be able to own land to you. Because the vision and the mission for the circle belongs to all of us as the members of the circle. The circle space is interesting because you're still the members and at the same time you're the shareholders or the investors. Therefore, we'd really uh, encourage people to always ensure that as you come to request for a facility, at least you also save so that you are able to also grant you the loan that you're requesting by measuring the much you have also invested so that we add you on top to what other people have invested in the circle. So Alphonse, that's how I'd respond to it because even when you're lending to you, one of the factors we consider is how much savings you're holding in your account in the circle. It is a key parameter we always consider before we can give you any loan facility. I don't know whether that answers you, Alphonse. Yeah, that answers me. So basically what you're saying is, if I have some money, I simply save it. I don't keep it in my uh, mattress. Uh, mattress at home, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and it comes with a lot of advantages. Thank you so much. I'll come back to you, but I would like to welcome again, Joy, Joy, Joy. Joy, just check on our online community, and I know it's not difficult to save. Uh, we have our online channels that are available, uh, WhatsApp, different ways in which somebody who has money can save. By the way, I'm told that it's so easy for you to save now that even if you have some money on your M-Pesa right now, kuna maali unaeza irusha, na kwa account ya savings, na na alafu Christine, Ataipokea, so that ukitaka loan, unaiza kumbuka this session. So Joy, just take us through that, how easy it is, and then uh, what are our online people, what are the questions that are coming? Uh, yes, uh, I'm actually uh, busy answering my online uh, defenders. They are really giving me uh, a challenge online. It is okay, but anyway, um, basically, you see, I I can see my there's some of my branch managers that are um, that online. Eh? Uh, mm -hmm. In the next session, I will throw a question to them because these people who are harassing me here are their members. Don't worry. But anyway, it is so easy to 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 throw money to Taisa. We are um, we are, we have a pay bill, which is six four four seven hundred. At the click of a button, the money is in your account. You just need to go to the pay bill, input 644700, and uh, you put your account number, and the money will auto settle directly to, to your Taisako account. Secondly, to the business people, 
I do not know why the business people right now um, do not have a, the, what is it called? Uh, the till numbers. We are giving the till numbers to our business people. So our business people who are uh, listening to us today, just walk in into any uh, Thai Sako branch, apply Joy, for your till wait for your business. a minute. Joy, yes. wait a minute. I am here, Alphonse. So you're saying that mm. I can have my own till number for my business? Yes, attached to your Thai Sako account. And you are actually able to uh, whatever monies that you sell in your shop, it will slip in your account. Actually, now Christine coming to look at your cash flows, it will be determined by how much your till has been operating. For the business people, it is that easy. So you're saying like but, if I, I own a carpent, a cap, if I have, a, let's say, a hardware shop. You and, talk uh, about hardware. I, hardware is yeah. too huge, cell phones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my husband, you're saying my My small shop can have a till number, that's what you're saying. As long as you are economically active. Wow. You can have a till wow. number linked to uh -huh. your account. We shall be uh -huh. able to, uh, you, your, your account will be looking very good because you will have your daily deposits coming into okay. Thai Circle. And uh, it is that easy. You don't have even, to, if you're a business person, you can have an option of the pay bill. You can have an, uh, uh, an option of the till number. And for our institution, the churches, the schools, we can give you a pay bill. Mm -hmm. That even you will know which student has paid, which parent has not paid. Na in church, na jua sadaka imetolewa na nani. So we have, a, we can give you the paper. So we we are actually this flexible. We are, we want to talk to have a closer relationship or a one stop shop for our clients. We don't want them to look for a solution away from us. We are a one stop shop. Whatever if you want to access your account. We have the we, we have the WhatsApp banking. Imagine chatting high and you get your money on WhatsApp. I mean, I think we are the one of the uh, the only circle that has that solution. We have a WhatsApp banking. We have the app that you can download on app uh, Play Store, and that particular app you can even download your statement. You just need to specify the period. You don't have to come to the branches. We have agents in almost every town in our areas of operation. We have agent uh, next shop. So you are able to access us. I mean, it is this easy, Alphonse. I do not know where the people that are here who are not in Thai Circle, where they are. Perhaps they give me a comment on chat session where they are, why they are not in Thai Circle. Um, back to you, Alphonse. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I didn't know that I can have a till number for my show. And I can also have yes. a pay bill for my church yes. or school. That's very interesting. Yes. So that means the circle has really invested in technology. And I know the chair already mentioned that. I'd like to bring back the chair one, Mr. John. This is really an amazing the one. But I want you to take the a CEO. The, the CEO, Mr. John Mwangi. Yes. I want you to I want us to go back to the community and development that takes place in the community. And what do you think are the, is the role of circles, especially Thai Circle now, in community development? And how do circles contribute to the betterment of the community? I mean, are there some things you're doing as Thai Circle? And how are you impacting or changing lives in the community now with the many branches even you have? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Bon Alphonse. Now, on the area of our community development, we are doing quite a lot. You know, an institution like Thai Circle cannot exist without the community which is surrounding it. Number one, uh, we invest a lot in educating our members. Uh, we have what we call members education uh, uh, forums. Uh, for example, we have barazas which you normally hold uh, in the different areas of our operation. Uh, we also have uh, business, we, we organize business ranches 
where you meet the business community, you engage with them, you tell them what the new uh, products and services that you have on offer. We listen to them. Maybe they are having challenges. Uh, we advise them. And uh, by the way, when you are having those members education or holding the, through the parasas or having business ranches, we also invite uh, other professionals like uh, public health, uh, health uh, people, uh, doctors. They talk to our members about, for example, lifestyle diseases that are affecting our people in a very big way. So we do not only talk about uh, money, money and investments during the members' education forums. We also talk or engage uh, professionals in the health uh, field to talk to our members about their, their health. By the way, we also engage uh, veterinary doctors, agriculture specialists during those forums, and they talk to our uh, our members on those other different areas that can affect the uh, performance. Uh, on top of uh, education and training, uh, we also offer attachment opportunities, attachment opportunities to university students who have not con uh, completed the uh, different courses in the colleges and universities. Uh, for a period of at least three months. Apart from those attachments, once they, uh, they graduate, uh, when internship opportunities are available, we give them. Uh, maybe to work with us for a period of uh, six months, one year, two years, it can even extend to three years. And if the opportunity is still available, we can even engage uh, permanently. We also look for partnerships. Uh, uh, from uh, other players in the in uh, different fields. Like for example, currently we have a, a cyber suja program with a company called Seriano, where a total of about 21 uh, university graduates from different fields have been engaged through us in a program uh, which is a partnership between ourselves and that company, which is called Seriano, and uh, UCU, that is United States University Africa, where we are training uh, these uh, graduate uh, graduates on uh, uh, cyber security issues. Now, away from uh, education and training and those barazas, we also give back to the community. We engage in uh, uh, environmental activities. For example, we are partnered with the Kiabu County government. We have been given a piece of land, about one acre, uh, uh, bordering Royal Dam, which is in Gitongoli, where we have planted uh, indigenous trees and which uh, we take care of. So as far as environment is concerned, uh, we participate in a big way. We also engage in uh, cleaning uh, activities of the market areas. Uh, we partner with, even with the county government when they are doing it, we uh, join hands and clean uh, the streets and so on. Now, um, at other times we have engaged in uh, uh, giving our members and the community uh, services like uh, having uh, what we called uh, a health camp. We had one about one year ago where we partnered again with the Kiabu County government. We partnered with uh, some other hospitals, eye specialists and so on. And uh, the community plus our members were able to see the many doctors that were ready to listen uh, maybe um, that is reason to the members, the community people, and help them on different areas to do it with their health. These uh, initiatives are quite expensive, but uh, as uh, per our budget, we hold them so that we engage and give back to the community. Away from uh, health and environment, 
Uh, we also identify other partners like the dairy cooperatives. Uh, for example, we have about four dairy cooperatives uh, for whom we have supplied uh, uh, management information uh, uh, software to enable the dairy uh, cooperatives to uh, manage the uh, 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 new collection, uh, doing accounting for whatever they have collected, and also making payments to the members. Uh, this one is done free of charge. Uh, we pay for it. We train the the users, and we work uh, we work with them until they are able to use that particular software, so that they become more efficient. They are able to serve the uh, members in a more better way. And uh, of course, when we are doing that, we expect to give us back by becoming our members, so that they get transformed as we. Uh, uh, move on with our other uh, projects. Um, uh, so I, I can also say that away from now, um, the data sector, even the, the, the other area like uh, coffee, we have at times planted seedlings and offered them for free to the coffee farmers. Same case applies to tea farmers. So as far as the community is concerned, because you cannot exist without the community, we have programs uh, to give back to the community. By the way, we are in the final stages of finalizing the formation of Thai Foundation. Uh, for Thai Foundation, we want to be uh, giving back to the community even in a bigger way. By the way, we have even started it this year. We have already taken up two uh, students from um, uh, need the backgrounds. The board, through that initiative, has pledged to educate those two students all the way from Form 1 uh, to Form 4 by paying everything 100%. That is the school fees, the transport, pocket money, and anything that that particular or those two particular students may require. You want to expand it. You want to be taking up two students every year. And by the way, through partnerships uh, with like-minded organizations, we want to mobilize uh, resources so that we can have more, more students, maybe three or four or five per year. We want to move the direction of our big brothers at Inaikwite who have more than a thousand, as well as KCB and uh, the other uh, big banks so that we transform our people. Those. Uh, members of the community who are not able to uh, 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 pay school fees for the uh, uh, kids uh, should not uh, feel desperate when you are around. So we have uh, a good arrangement. We have a good policy of engaging and giving back to the community. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, our CEO. Uh, that's quite interesting. I've just heard him talk about a foundation uh, and they're already educating children. Yeah, uh, it's really amazing. You've actually touched on education, you've touched on agriculture, you've touched on business, and that's mean, that means it's a very, very big, big, big impact. I'll welcome again Joy to come back uh, with the questions. And Joy, there's a question here, somebody who has feedback. Uh, do your channels allow people to speak to you as well, or you're always speaking to them? So you can take us through just one question as you talk about the feedback, Joy. Uh, yeah, I will actually, uh, there's, um, there is a, 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 a person who is really engaging us here. Um, Daniel, Daniel, I know you're listening to us. Daniel is asking, how do you give your loans as a group, um, and I wish to respond uh, to Daniel. Let me just respond here. Uh, yes, we have our, um, as our CEO indicated, we have our micro credit unit. It's a whole department whereby we allow, we allow group lending. It could be a group with a common objective 
they come to us and tell us that we want to buy land or we want to, we are in the Matatu sector and we want several vehicles. We can lend uh, a group with common objective. Secondary members in this particular group, they might have diversified interests. Eh? And we are also able to um, give loans to the members of these particular groups. So for Daniel, uh, that is the response. Yes, if your group has common objective and you want to meet one common goal, we are we can give you a term goal. And if there is an individual uh, in the group that requires uh, funding, we can also find an individual who is in the group. So, Alphonse, uh, that was one of the major questions that uh, Daniel uh, had, had, had asked, and I feel yeah. that. Um, where, yes, I have sufficiently responded to it. In case of yep. anything, we shall be dropping some contact for us to, 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 to that, uh, that Daniel can be able to reach us on the chat session. So, thank you so much, Joy. Uh, you didn't touch on the feedback and I would like to bring back the CEO to talk about it. Uh, yes. So you've already talked about how you are creating an impact to the community around how you are impacting on these businesses, uh, that's to Mr. John. Uh, do you also allow people to speak to you? Can people speak to you? How can they reach out to you? What are the channels you put as a circle so that you can allow people also to speak to you? Yeah, thank you, Bon Alphonse. Um, our society has employed, or our circle has employed <laughs> an open door policy. Uh, our members do not have to have an appointment with any of our officers, including my office. In case they have an issue, they can make a call. Uh, we have contact for, our, for, for the head office. We have contact for all our branches, including the new branch in Nakuru. Apart from making call, apart from uh, making a physical visit, you can call, you can also write an email. You can also chat with us through our uh, website. Apart from the website, you can also write an email. You can see us in YouTube and make your comments. Link line, we are there. So in case you have an issue, in case you want to communicate with us, anything that you feel that may make our services and products better, we are uh, fully, we are open and we will uh, respond uh, to you uh soonest possible without delaying without uh, making your life difficult so we have an open door policy to answer communication and uh, responding to the same thank you thank you so so much mr ceo he's saying it's very uh, available open door policy <laughs> and the whole of this team are available so guys are talking about money guys are talking about loans economy ningumu i'm back to christine Christine, it seems you are the person who has the money. <laughs> so Christine, uh, before I get my loan, how would you consider me as a good loanee? Yeah? And what are some of the key areas that you'd consider when you want to give me a loan? You can unmute. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry for that. Uh, so thank yeah. you, Alphonse. And uh, I'll try to uh, demystify what we usually check at when uh, we are giving those loan uh, facilities or when we are lending so that our members who are in the platform are able to understand why do I go to a bank or to a circle and they ask for so many documents. Uh, what we do ordinarily, we don't want to understand who is this person that wants to borrow from us. And how we get this is by understanding the history of the loanee. And it is not just history on anything else, but the credit history. So your credit history is able to tell us a, a lot about you. And how we are able to get some of this information is if you have an account with Thai Circle, we get into your account, we check whether you have had a loan with us. How was your repayment history? Were you making your loan repayments on time? Were you delaying? But even when you delay, were you coming to the bank and having a conversation with us 
that these are the reasons why I am delaying. So we must first understand who is this person we want uh, to finance. And this we do it by saying that you're checking the character of this person. The next thing uh, for us to be able to know a good uh, loanee, we must also analyze or check your incomes. We will want to understand if this uh, member is in business, what type of business are they doing? How long has the business been running? What are the turnovers for this business? When you get into your account, you're able to tell uh, so-and-so is a border border person. Their account, they deposit at least 200 shillings every day or 100 shillings every day. And we are therefore able to tell that, yes, this is a person who is in the industry of border border and the account turnovers are good. So if they're requesting for a certain amount of money, it means from the 100 they've been depositing, they will be clearly be able to pay our loan. Again, also, uh, we check at uh, the history with which uh, probably other financial institutions know you. I know most of us know that these days uh, there's something we call uh, information sharing. Alphonse, I'm able to get into the platforms that are available. In Kenya, we have uh, the credit uh, bureaus. And uh, once uh, you subscribe as a circle, I'm able to get in there and I'm able to tell whether Alphonse has any other loans in the other circles. And if at all he has, how are these loans performing? Again, a good communication is something that tells you somebody is a good loanee because uh, when you're granting your loan, you will have a conversation. And we ask you, what do you want to use this money for? and visit your business. We will come and probably do a physical visit to where you come from, because like you're saying, it is a partnership you're beginning and we really want to understand who is this person that wants money. And therefore, uh, from the discussions and the visits, we are really able to tell this person sells, uh, uh, sells probably clothes, for instance. Where they are, the business is, it is not rented, maybe it is owned, therefore means we do not have that expenditure on rent. And therefore, whatever clothes that you bring, it means your margins will be high. And therefore, you're able to repay, to repay our loan. Again, also a good loanee, you will find that there are people who know this person. And even when you're having discussions with them, they will tell you, Christine, as much as you do not know me, I know Alphonse who has a loan with you. And if you want to gather more information about me, if you ask Alphonse, he's going to tell you exactly who Christine is. So for us to be able to know a good loanee, we will check at the character of this person, the ability or the stability of this business or individual. It can be either the business or the salary or whatever other source of income that you have, but of course legitimate ones. We'll also check the purpose for which you want us to give you that money because we have a role also of financial advisory and you're able to tell you if you borrow this money, is it going to be sufficient if you want to support your business in terms of working capital, in terms of business exp uh, expansion? So what we do ordinarily is that we go through you, we go through your documents, we go through referrals so that you're able to tell this Alphonse who exactly is Alphonse so that we are able to partner and walk the journey together. So those are some of the indicators of a good loanee. Thanks, Alphonse. So you've gone through my, uh, my history, uh, you've checked it everywhere, and I can qualify for a loan. So I'm in need of a loan. So what type of loan products do you have for me? Uh, thank you, Alphonse. I will break down uh, that question into uh, telling our members who are in the platform that Thai Circle is a basket for very many sectors. We serve uh, very many sectors as diverse as we could have uh, in Kenya and abroad. And therefore, I'll try to narrow down to about uh, 13 sectors. And the first sector, like we indicated, uh, the initial founders or the founders of Thai were farmers. And therefore we have loans which we give to all uh, people who are in farming, whether you're in coffee farming, you're in tea farming, you're in dairy farming, you're in poultry, um, you're in horticulture, we are able to give you a facility. We also do a lot of uh, loans to the construction sector. Like we said, we have our Macau loan. 
whereby we are able to give you money for constructing either residential or commercial buildings. Uh, we also have loans that facilitate the business community and therefore, if you're in business, probably you want money for business expansion, for working capital. Uh, we also give money to the salaried people. Uh, we have MOUs uh, with uh, different partners, public and private. Uh, like in Kiambu, we have a partnership, the Kiambu County Government. And therefore, if you're an employee of Kiambu County Government or Muranga County Government, you're able to get a facility from us or Nairobi County Government. We also have loans uh, that uh, we give for green financing because we know climate uh, uh, taking care of the environment is a key area that everyone would want to uh, participate in. And therefore we do loans under green financing. We also do loans under groups. And therefore, if you have a group and you have come uh, together with a common objective of maybe you want to purchase an asset, uh, probably you have a house that you have been uh, constructing that it is somehow midway and you feel you need a, a bit of a boost. We also do loans for asset finance. So we are in all uh, sectors and we also give loans uh, for insurance. Like we said, you are a one-stop shop. If you want covers for life, you want covers for motor vehicle, uh, we have our sister company called Aquila. And Aquila is able to give you all uh, products in the insurance sector as an agent. So we are a one-stop shop. We also have loans on the mobile platforms. Uh, those who are our members, you know, you can borrow an MTI loan. And this is guided. You will not sit down uh, with anyone to do your eligibility from the comfort of your house, from the comfort of your business. You just log in into your account and you're able to borrow some money uh, probably for uh, whatever reason that uh, you need some money. So in a nutshell, we serve all sectors and we classify them into the 13 categories. And therefore we have a product or a loan product for each and every one of us. And I am sure even the youth. Uh, we also partner with the government when there's money for the youth, there's money for the women. I don't know whether we are going to have one for Akina uh, Alphonse, for men. <laughs> We are also having strategic uh, alliances with the government, and therefore we are open to each and every sector. We finance each and every one of us, as long as you meet the eligibility criteria. Asante Alphonse. Yeah, I know sometimes it can be so easy. I already know the product I love, and then I've been saving. Yeah, but uh, I'm to consider whether I'm to go for a loan with Taisako or go for a loan with another circle, or go for a bank loan, or go for a hustle fund, you know, things like that, or Tala. Uh, so what are some of the benefits, key benefits that Taisako would just be a yes for me, for my, my loan benefits? Uh, thank you, Alphonse. And I will start with what I think is on top of the radar there. Number one, at Taisako, we pride ourselves on the turnaround time. Uh, with this, I mean that when you apply for a facility and you have met all the qualifications today, in an hour's time, you're able to have the money in your account. So in terms of turnaround time, yes. Wait a minute. Yes. You're saying I need the money? Yes. I'm at a fix, it's an emergency. Yes. yes. I qualify for all the things that are needed for me to be loaned. And I'm looking, I'm waiting for the money to hit my account. It's too bad for me. How long does it take? <laughs> a, a, a maximum of 24 hours. That's what I'm saying. In a day, yes. you have your money. But it can even be shorter because if you have been our member and you have your credit history yeah. and you know you very well, Alphonse, and you have applied for a facility, by the time you're leaving the credit desk, you go to the side of the teller, the money will have hit your account. So it is as fast as you could always imagine. Yes. Continue. Um, the other key uh, thing, I know that everyone is interested in hearing. Our loans are also uh, very affordable. We have the best interest rates in the market because like I said, uh, in a circle, a member is also a shareholder. 
So you'd really not invest in a place whereby when you come to borrow, you also pay expensively. But that doesn't mean that we also do not consider uh, the return on investment for our shareholders. When uh, we are paying those dividends and interest on our deposits and share capital, we always consider that. So in terms of the rates, we are very competitive and we have products that go for as low as 9%. So we are in all sectors. And this is why I said, once you come to our desk and you sit with us, we're able, of course, to advise you and tell you this is the best suited product for you at the best interest rate. And the other item we pride ourselves in that because we know um, things are not really uh, easy. Uh, the economic times are a bit hard. And therefore I uh, would say that uh, the money for people to spend out here probably to some extent because of the many dynamics, uh, we do not have a lot of money or something we call disposable income. And therefore our repayment periods have uh, been uh, uh, formulated in a way we are able to accommodate that installment that you feel your business is able to service without straining and we leave you with some money to ensure that the business operations continue and you continue servicing our loan. So for Thai Sako, I'd say that we are a basket of many goodies and I'd encourage the members in the platform to try us and Alphonse, I'm, the, I'm sure they're the ones who are going to tell you, I have been to other financial institutions, but I am surprised at the speed, at the rate, at the repayment period, and at the terms and conditions within which Thai Sako has been able to grant me the loans. We are a listening partner. We listen a lot to our members because this is your circle. Thanks, I have a Alphonse. question for you. Yes. A question for you. Yes. And I want you to answer them very fast. Bank or Thai Sako? Thai Sako. Why? Why is because this is your business. Me and you are one thing. You're my shareholder. I am your employee, but I'm also a shareholder. So the interest that you have and at whatever money that you keep, you will always be earning something. So it's also another form of investment. Question number two. Hustler fund or Thai Sako? Thai Sako. Why? Efficiency and the expediency within which we will also give you that money and the rate. I say the interest rate because what happens a lot, Alphonse, is that most people really uh, do not understand the, the cost they incur when they are doing some loans. And this is why you find that someone has borrowed a loan, but you're not able to repay because also your business cannot generate. Um, enough money to repay back that facility. So it is very crucial for our members to always ask, as much as you want the money pap, what is this that I'll be paying back on top for the money that have been granted? Will my business be able to sustain the expectations from my financier? So um, fine, it could be fast, yeah. but also the cost for the loan is a key parameter you should always want to know. Mattress or Thai Sako? Thai Sako. Thai Sako because I have said, we have, uh, we have an insurance company that uh, is a sister company to Thai Sako. Number two, Thai Sako is a regulated entity. So at um, the eventuality of anything happening, a depositor is always assured of having their money back. The money is insured and we are also regulated by SASRA. And therefore we make reports to the regulator on monthly basis uh, to show the financial position of the institution, which I can confirm it is super solid. So you're talking about the regulations here. I would like to bring back the CEO himself, Mr. John, uh, to address this uh, by telling us about the principles that govern cooperative societies in Kenya and how do they influence the operations of circles? Please also touch on SASRA, because so many people always say, if you are not regulated by SASRA, I'm out, it can be a scam. So tell us about these principles that govern cooperatives and uh, where Thai Sako stands. Yeah, thank you, Bwana Alphonse. And thank you all for all those who are participating. Thank you, team. 
Uh, on the issue of uh, the principles of uh, cooperatives, there are seven. Uh, I can go very fast over uh, through them. There is the open and voluntary membership. Yeah, one is not coerced to become a member. Uh, it is open to those who are willing to abide by the by rules or by the rules of uh, uh, the particular circle. Uh, specifically, we are talking about Tai circle. There is also the demo democratic member control. One man, one vote. It is the members who uh, choose the uh, leaders uh, democratically. Yes, hello. Uh, it is the members yeah. who choose. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Now you are clear. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is the members who choose their leaders democratically. Uh, the third principle is uh, economic participation by the member. Once you become a member, you save over a period of time. Possibly you require a loan or an advance. You are able to get it. Uh, you are able to grow uh, in whichever economic activity that you are participating in. There is also autonomy and independence. Um, it is the members who come up with the uh, with the role, with the roles that guide them. It is them that sit down and agree on how they are going to carry out uh, the uh, business. But of course. We have the the cooperative row cap uh, cap four ninety, which guides on uh, what kind of uh, activities that you can engage in. So even if there is that autonomy of deciding what you want to do with your circle, there is the row guiding on what you should do. There is also the issue of education, training, and information. Like I have said uh, here before, uh, education is key. You have to create a, a lot of awareness to the members, to the community, uh, to the staff members, to the board members, and also to the co to the community, so that they become aware or they know what the circle stands for, and how the uh, how the community and the stakeholders can benefit uh, from the circle. There is also the principle of cooperation among cooperatives. Uh, cooperatives and circles in particular, normally um, cooperate with other uh, cooperatives. Like for example, today we had visitors from uh, a peer circle from Yandarwa. They wanted to learn from us about quite, on, uh, about quite a number of our activities, the way we do them, the challenges that we face, the way forward about them and so on. So we, there is that principle of uh, sharing uh, among cooperatives. There is also the final uh, uh, principle relating to concern for the community. You cannot exist uh, without the community uh, also being taken care of. And that is the reason why we give back uh, to the community, for example, through holding the, the medical camps, through participating in environmental activities, uh, general cleanup of the marketplaces and the shopping centers around us when that time comes. So those are the seven principles. Now, away from the, the principles of uh, cooperatives, uh, SASRA is the Circle Society's regulate, uh, regulatory authority. It regulates both deposit taking circles as well as non-deposit taking uh, circles. Uh, SASRA guides uh, by prescribing uh, certain parameters that uh, the circles have to meet uh, so that they be able to operate the uh, business successfully and so that they be able to protect the members' funds. So one of the core uh, requirements of uh, 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 SASRA is protection of members' uh, funds. That particular circle that becomes a member or that is being regulated by SASRA has to meet the minimums. And each and every month, that circle has to give some reports to the regulator. For example, they got, uh, uh, the report on um, 
a liquidity. Now, you know, uh, a financial institution is as good as how healthy its liquidity position is. So the government through SASRA has to know where the member's funds are because if it is, for example, a deposit taking circle, maybe a member would require his or her money tomorrow or in the afternoon, he or she should be able to access that money whenever he or she needs it. We've also to give uh, a report on uh, the loan book, how much has been given to the members and not only have about how much has been been given to the members, are the members paying the loans? Because again, if you just grant loans, if the loan book grows, but it is not being paid back, there is a problem. So the quality also of the loans is also very critical when the reports are given. There is also the issue of other reports like institutional capital, uh, the capital adequacy reports among the many other uh, reports, including the, the statement of financial position, uh, the statement of compliance income. The government has to know how the circle, whether regulated or whether deposit taking or non-deposit taking is performing each and every month by a certain date. Um, if a member or if one would wish to look for a circle where uh, he or she would wish to uh, partner with or become a member, uh, it's good to uh, look at the governance uh, structure. How good has been uh, the governance of that particular circle? Because you know, governance is everything. Does that particular circle have a structure? Yeah. Uh, does it have a board of directors? Does it share information uh, with its members? If one would wish to know about that support, do we have a physical office where uh, you can go and seek for information? Can you be able to reach the readership of that particular circle? So the openness, you know? Yes, continue. Uh, yeah, so um, and, and, and access to information about the circle is also very critical, very important uh, for you to make a decision about which circle to join. Because again, if information is uh, not available, you cannot be able to make a decision on the health of that particular circle. Again, those circles that are members or that are regulated uh, are better because when you become regulated, uh, you become open to scrutiny. Yeah, There is nothing that you are hiding from the public and also from the, uh, from the government. Um, um, the health of the of the circle is normally gotten from the financial statements. So when you look at uh, a circle's uh, financial statements, uh, you are able to make a decision whether the circle is uh, uh, is healthy. Uh, a circle like ourselves, the circle, we participate in competitions held by uh, different organizations in Kenya. For example, uh, Taisako participates in uh, FIRE Awards. FIRE Awards is financial reporting awards, which is organized by ISPAC. ISPAC for Institute of Certified Public Accountants. We want the world to know that this is how we, we, we performed in the past year. And these are our statistics about how we are progressing, uh, uh, we are progressing on. Let also the circle be re regulated. It's a good principle uh, to be regulated. Why should you hide your, uh, your records and your reports uh, from the public? So generally, um, those are the areas, those could be the, the many and few issues that you look into when you are making a decision as pertaining to which circle you should uh, invest in. And uh, Thai circle is the best circle to invest in. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I know there is always one factor that comes into play when it comes to which kind of circle, because a, a circle can collapse at any time. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit about 
how old is it? I know recently we did some celebration of some milestone in terms of the years. And before you do that, uh, uh, CEO, I'd like to just play a small video clip uh, just to highlight more about that. And then I'll welcome back the CEO. That will just take us a minute. It has over 80,000 members with its presence felt through 10 branches in Kiambu and Nairobi with an asset base of 4 billion Kenya shillings. I was able to get a loan I was also bought as the first to pick up to start with. Eh? This is the story of Thai Sako, which was started 30 years ago by tea farmers but now it's open to all, including business people and employees in private and public sectors. Thai Sako Society Limited, whose headquarters is at the Thai Plaza in Gidunguri, Kiambu County, is a deposit checking and savings credit society. It was registered in 1992 as a back office services activity under the name Kiambu Tea Growers Sako. Thank you very much. This is Jules. Thank you very much. Uh, back to you. VP of a ketchup company, about to use Grammarly to handle a PR issue. Ketchup's Great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Bona Alphonse, for that commercial break. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Taisako is that one years old this year, 2023, all the way from 1992. That one year is not a mean task. Uh, if it is a, a man who is uh, that year old, should he be married? If that one is not, <laughs> if such a man is not married, then there is a problem. Same is a price for a lady. So that yes. one year is a price on our side. Now, away from that, the, uh, the, the age of the circle, we have slightly above 8,000, 8,000 members. You know, 8,000 is also quite a significant uh, number of members, and we are still growing. Again, Taisako, uh, our total assets, uh, now as we talk, is approximately 4.2 billion, uh, 4.2 billion Kenya shillings. Well, when you look at our total assets, uh, sorry, the own book, that money in the hands of our members is about 3.6 billion and still growing. Uh, away from that, uh, we have diversified uh, the products that are on offer by incorporating so many sectors that are available or that are in our country. Now, diversification means you are not depending on one particular sector, for example, agriculture, where uh, fluctuations of uh, production are affected by the weather. We are also, okay, or we have also brought on board employees who have um, okay. consistent incomes on a monthly basis. We have, we also have business people uh, whose incomes are also more regular as compared to uh, those people in agriculture. So that regularizes the flow of incomes for the circle uh, from January to December, year in, uh, year out. Now, apart from uh, the diversification of uh, the products that are on offer for different sectors, we have a good governance system. Yeah, uh, governance for us is, uh, uh, we don't take it for granted. We have a very good governance system. We have policies, yeah, we are compliant with the rules of the land. So, uh, Taisako cannot collapse anytime soon, not when we are there. Yeah, we will do everything we want to uh, um, empower our people locally. We are happy about our diaspora uh, clients and customers and members. Even Buana Alphonse, welcome. I don't know whether you have an account, Buana Alphonse. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. I want to now hear from someone else. I know we've all been talking about it as members. So I'd like to welcome Mr. Charles Ngonjo Ngatia, who is going to tell us about his story and his journey with the Thai Circle. Hi, Mr. Charles, you're welcome. Hi, Alphon, and hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah, my... Yes, my name is Charles Gatia. Uh, I joined Thai Circle two, around two years ago. That is, uh, yeah, around 2020 when Corona was just coming. And then uh, I had just come from uh, another circle that uh, I was a member for like five years or so. And the uh, what occasion this uh, transition is uh, was uh, you are having one or two for the road, a friend of mine. And uh, uh, he told me how he got into this uh, Thai circle from uh, 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 the bush because and was, he joined and was given a loan in a, a record one day. So I was interested and because I'm in the informal sector, I'm a businessman, I deal with the uh, branding and advertising. I'm a businessman. The other circle that I was a member by then, you we are having problems with the people in the informal sector. You know, the people in the informal sector, we have problems with the uh, consistency in cash flow because we don't have loans. So uh, fast forward, I, I, I met uh, one uh, Miss Joy in a place in Kambu. We discussed, and I told her my problem. By then, I was starting up, uh, setting up a saloon for my wife. So uh, I got my first loan pretty fast. After meeting her, I joined, became a member, and uh, after evaluation, the same day, I got the loan. Fast forward, because the system is uh, running, uh, I think uh, the, 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 the vision of Thai transforming life, it has really transformed my life because uh, I started the business uh, then. From then, I've been, uh, I've taken three other loans and the process of processing a, a, a fourth one. Uh, because as a businessman, you go get a deal and you want money immediately. And you, you know, you can only run to somewhere that you can be accommodated. So for the two years, I can attest they are, they are they are very very friendly customer. I belong to Nairobi branch. We work with Dan, the the manager in Thai uh, Nairobi branch. So I've been a madam ambassador for Thai for the, the time that I've been there. I've uh, referred very many people. Uh, around twenty that I can count direct from me, uh, business partners, uh, people from my family. They have all joined Thai Circle. So in a snapshot, I would say that uh, Shai is very accommodative, especially for us business, because where you are before, uh, business people, you are literally being chased away. So according to me, uh, in a snapshot, I would say it is a home away from home. And uh, right now, we, I'm in the process of acquiring a Macau loan. I didn't know it exists. Maybe a comment, because uh, we there as members, we may not know what is happening, uh, so we need we may need more update for such facilities that are very enticing and very relevant for some of us. Uh, thank you very much. I think I as my uh, general brief of uh, my journey with Thai Circle. Thank you, Alphonse. Thank, thank you very much, Charles, for sharing such an inspiring experience with Thai Circle. And uh, now we want to proceed to the question and answer section. I uh, want to welcome anyone who is on board, please. Uh, you can unmute and ask any question or oh, we've been asking and answering them. Yeah, but Joy, I would like to hand over this session to you. Uh, it's so amazing that you met Charles, who was uh, in informal sector. I know it can always be very difficult because you don't have mm -hmm. a structured way of earning. And then a circle would accommodate you, yeah. Uh, I want you to just as you wrap up and get questions from these people. How easy is it? How mm. easy is it? It seems to be something very interesting, Joy. And if someone yes. is here and they're willing to join, what should they do? Um, I'll give three options on um, to to my good uh, online followers. I can see. Even our Facebook uh, is having so many followers. I, I'm I'm excited. 
uh, for anyone willing to join us uh, today. Perhaps the preaching that Madam Christine and the CEO has made has converted you to feeling that um, you want to join us. It is very easy. Go to our website. On top of your right hand of the website, there is a place you will see join Thai Circle. You click there. There's like a short form that you will fill. Immediately, we will be able to receive that correspondence and attend to you at a personalized um, way without basically having an asshole. Similarly, you can uh, write an email to us requesting that you want to join us uh, on info at TaiSaco, info at TaiSaco.coop, info at TaiSaco.coop. You just drop an email saying that you want to join. It is our duty, it is our asshole to look for you, come visit you and uh, give you very personalized services. Uh, you can also call us, by the way, on our official line, which is 020-2010-334. There is a soft, a soft voice that will answer you uh, from our customer service, and you'll be directed. Basically, you can reach us. Once you, you reach us, we are able to have our agent from our branches and from the head office reaching out to you. If it is not convenient for you to visit in our branch, I know I can see a lot of followers uh, from the diaspora. I can see some followers from different parts of the country. We will be able to reach out to you, guide you, and uh, enable you get our membership form for you to sign up without uh, an asshole, and uh, we will sign you up. Walk you through the journey. By the time you are getting to Madam Christine for the loan, we will have walked through a proper journey to ensure that you meet all the criteria. And as Charles has put it, within a very short time, you will be able to get a loan. And immediately you get a loan, you will be a testimony in the next forum, Alphonse, that we will. I want actually the next uh, forum, Alphonse, uh, yeah. one of the online uh, person will be the person doing the testimony now. <laughs> amazing amazing yes, yes. <laughs> that's okay so going back to the closing remarks just a minute because our time is up i'll start with uh madam christine madam christine just your closing remarks and welcome us to come for the money uh, thank you alphonse and uh, thank you uh uh, to Madam Joy and the entire team from Thai Circle, headed by our CEO, and to our listeners and viewers. Uh, like we have indicated, we are here to partner with you, to walk with you the journey to transform your life. So we are living the vision and the mission, and karibuni sana pesa iko kwa wingi. Pesa yes. iko kwa wingi. <laughs> Joy, you support that, eh? <laughs> pesa iko. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, lastly, welcome uh, the CEO to just give us a closing remark. And uh, then after that, I'll invite Joy to end it with a word of prayer. Yeah, thank you so much, Buana. Uh, thank you, Buana Alphonse. You've, you've really done a wonderful job. You've connected us with the diaspora members with our local members, we are happy. And uh, please keep it up. Uh, the timing was good. I think you have taken a good two hours. We were able to discuss so many areas about ourselves, about our products, about what you have done to the community, about co co cooperative circles and so on. Thank you so much for uh, making this uh, interaction uh, successful. Thank you also all the members that have been listening to us, those who have joined us, Asante Nisana, uh, the team from Thai Circle, um, uh, our head of marketing, Madam Joy, for ensuring that this comes to fruition or to happen successfully. Madam Christine for being so passionate uh, when explaining the many products and services that we have. Thank you all once again, Karibuni Daisako. And uh, like my uh, colleagues have said, best. Okay.
something. All right, all right. Okay, he said Karibuni Sana. <laughs> So you're really welcome, guys. I can see a number of questions on the comment section. Guy, just in case you have something that you're selling and you feel someone could be here and they would, uh, they could be your next customer, please just put it in there. Joy is going to give a shout out for it. If you want a loan or any question as well, put it again there. Joy will give a shout out for it. As uh, she does that, I know she's very good at that. Just in case you have anything to share, it's now a free moment. Uh, sell anything that you're selling. If you're selling, you are given a loan and you bought something, you started a business and you want us to come to your shop so that you make more money to come and save. Your Christina Furai, you can put it on the comment section there. Otherwise, uh, Joy, you're here. I think you'll start with John Munene uh, with this question as you, and then after that, you'll pray. Uh, John, John, <laughs> John is saying that uh, is bulk share purchase allowed? Um, how soon can uh, can enjoy you any product of such a a share purchase? John Munene, yes. Um, for as long as you 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 convince us that you have not stolen the, what you have brought to Taisako and it has been <laughs> asked in the right manner then we will be able to, to, to give you an opportunity to be able to bank with us. And immediately you bank with us, at least in three months time, you will be able to get a, your first loan. Christine will be waiting for you uh, to give you a loan. So it is allowed. You just need to indicate to us uh, where have you gotten this bulk from? We just allow people to do the right businesses. Um, shout out to Rachel Wanganga. Uh, I know, Christine, you're interested with Rachel Wanganga. Christine, uh, Rachel is saying I'm interested in Macau loan. Christine, are you ready to give uh, Rachel Wanganga uh, the loan? Uh, Joy, we will reach out to Rachel. We will side chat her and you're able yeah. to work with her. The journey. So Rachel will be reaching out to you. Don't worry. Asante Joy. Yes. Oh, you're on mute, Joy. Um, thank, you, uh, thank you for the webinar. Very inspiring. Joy, I'm happy. Okay. We are happy that you. It, it, yeah, we are happy that it is. It has been very helpful to you. I think uh, the rest of the queries uh, we have been able to respond. And uh, as I said, whoever else who has a question that we have not attended in this platform, please just write to us on info at tysaco.com. We shall be able to attend it thoroughly, or go to our Facebook page. Drop a comment there or inbox us. We shall be able to respond to you. We are here to serve you. We are happy that you people joined. It would not have been successful without you. Alphonse, Thank can you I close with a word of prayer? Yes, now you can pray for us. We go make more money. We come give Christine. Christine and yes. Pepe's. <laughs> yes, so I will, I will ask us to unmute and say, may the grace together. You are new to save me the grace together, uh, grace of our Jesus Christ, and the love of God, God and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now, now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Bye. Thank you so, so much. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow is a holiday, Joy. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is a holiday. <laughs> Pesta ya holiday iko. Tukuje. Kwanza kwa mitandao waombe waombe pesa kwa mitandao wakapiga sherehe jioni. Okay, thank you so much guys. All the best. All the best. I was sorry I am to act. I was completely muted.